In this tutorial, we're going to um, look at a formula that combines both the VLOOKUP or any other formula and it combines an IF function together to create a blank within a, or blank, a recognized blank um, cells within Excel. So let's just see an example of what I'm trying to show you. Okay, if we look at this cell here, if we change that to N7, if we change that to um, whatever, so anything we change it, it changes accordingly. However, if this was blank, let's just say this, yeah, as you can see, this whole column, this whole, all these cells, if they were blank at this moment, if you look at it, description will say hashtag NA, unit price will say NA, and basically what, what's happening here, there's an error. Okay, the reason for this is, if we look at a formula, it says VLOOKUP PID, so PID is this column here. Okay, so VLOOKUP PID, so this yellow section, uh, from the products table and column number two. So let's just see, what's in PID? Nothing, it's blank. If we look back at our products list, is there anything that represents blank? No, there isn't. And the reason for that is, is because it's looking up the word blank, Oh, sorry, empty space or empty cell. And because it can't find that, it's coming out with an error. So what we need to do is add an if function to the beginning of this formula to rectify this fault. So what we're going to do is, at the start, just before the VLOOKUP, we're going to write if, I'm going to open bracket, PID, which is this uh, whole column here, or you can, let's just do it one individual cell. So if B18 is blank, then sorry equals blank okay so quotation marks as you know in excel mean basically it re uh, reads whatever is in between those quotation marks or prints whatever is between those quotation marks so currently in between these quotation marks there is nothing there's a blank so what is what you're asking is is if b18 is blank which it is if it equals blank then comma then what you're going to do is do another two quotation marks so if B18 is blank, leave it blank. And then you can do a comma again. If it's not, then do the VLOOKUP. Search for B18 from the products table and column number two. And obviously we've got two open brackets here, so we need another closing bracket at the end. Enter, and as you can see, that goes blank. So once again, we do the same thing for the unit price. So if B18, oops, sorry, I forgot to open a bracket. B18 equals quotation, which is blank. Then, what is the value if it's true? If the value is true, we want to leave it blank. If it's not true, we want to V look up P, uh, B18 from the products table, column number three, and then close bracket. So that's work now. Now if we replicate that formula all the way down, we should remove, make it all those cells blank. Same thing with the unit price. Okay, at the moment now, now if you look at this cell, total value, it says hashtag value. What does that mean? Okay, basically once again, it says equals quantity times unit price. So what it's going to do, at the moment, quantity is 3, and unit price is, what do we leave it as? As a blank. Okay, so it's recognize it's not recognizing that as a blank. So it's recognizing as a blank. So you can't times a number by an empty space. So what you need to do is one, what you can do is do the same thing again. So what you did exactly in these two cells, if B18 is blank, leave it blank, else V lookup. Okay, we can do the same thing again. Okay, this quant uh, we don't because it's not a V lookup this time, instead of the false option being a VLOOKUP, what you can do with the false option would be quantity times unit price. So let's just do the same thing again. If, open bracket, B18 equals quotation mark as in blank, leave it blank. Else, just do quantity times unit price. Close bracket, enter, excellent. So as you can see, that's work. Now, if you automatically fill these in, you notice that the subtotal of VAT, invoice total and discount automatically go back to what they should be because you don't really need to do it. The reason it was coming out with hashtag value is because there was an error in the description column, the unit price column and total column. As long as these three are fine, the rest should be <coughs> no problem either. So that's how you put a blank within a 
everything in, inside of a VLOOKUP formula or any other formula within your spreadsheet when creating an invoice. Okay, um, at the moment, if you notice, I put B19. Okay, do not confuse that. In your actual spreadsheet, when you create your invoice, <coughs> as always, we need to use range name. So instead of doing B18, what you do is you highlight the column, which is PID, and just change that with PID. So that way, you remove any cell references within your spreadsheet. You do not want any spread, uh, cell references throughout. Okay, that's it. So that's how you do it. Okay, so hopefully that helps you out and um, helps you out on how to create a blank or how to avoid errors within your spreadsheet.